For this origami piece, we're going to be making a Scotty dog. Now, for the one that I've made previously, I used printer paper, which is good because then you can choose the colors that you want. I did yellow and then blue. However, if you use thin paper, like printer paper, it might not stand up on its own. It kind of slides, wants to lay down. So we're going to try and make this with construction paper, which is just a little bit thicker. You could even use cardstock paper to try and use that to see if you have that available to you to see if maybe that has a different effect. So to start off, we have to have a traditional origami square. So we're going to line up this corner with, oh, to be over here, and line up this edge with this edge. Then we cut off the extra. And open it up. So we need to be able to find the center. So to find the center, we already have a crease here. We're gonna make an X to make a crease here. So bring this corner over to this one. And crease the fold. Now when you open it up, we have an X for the center. If I'm ever going too fast, you can paw, hit the pause button and catch on up. We're gonna bring this corner to the middle and crease. We're gonna do that for all four sides. And in a perfect world, this edge right here would not be squared off right there. It wouldn't be flat. It'd be nice and perfect pointy, but I am not an origami master and neither are you. And that is okay. We are doing our best and forgetting the rest. And that's all we can ask. And the more we practice, the better we'll get. Okay, now turn it so that way it is more of a square. And the instructions that I'm using right here are the same ones that you have available to you in your Google Classroom assignment that I've sent you. Now, with it in a square, we're going to take one side right here and we are going to fold this out. And the farther you fold this out, the longer your tail is going to be. Now we're going to take the opposite flap and we're gonna open this up and we're going to take this point and fold it in until we get to this crease. Now we can put that back down. So we have this pointing that way and this one tucked under. Now we're going to take this whole thing and fold the top half down on top of the bottom half. So we have a headless dog. Now we are going to pull out this bottom triangle. And now we are going to create a fold that goes between this corner right here and this corner right here. Now, if this one is a little bit difficult, a little bit tricky. Take your time, have patience, give yourself some grace, especially if this is your first time or even second or third time. Have patience with yourself. Now this triangle flap that we had pulled out, we're just gonna lay that back down and then leave it alone. Now we're going to put our hand underneath like a spatula, flip the whole thing over like a pancake, do the same thing on this side. But the nice thing about doing the same thing 
on your second side is you can use your first side kind of as a guideline so it's not as difficult. So we're going to flop this out and we're going to line this up. So I'm gonna try and line this up edge up with the one that I did before. There. Makes me not have to work as hard because I've already done it once. Then lay this back down. Now this is almost there. We just need our little, the beard hair. Because Scottish Terriers, Scotty Dogs, they have extra whiskers or extra beard hair on their chins. So to do that, there's a little pocket right here. And if you feel, or if you look, you can see that there's paper there, inside there. So if you stick your finger in, you can pull that paper out. So let me do this from a different angle. Stick your finger in and pull this paper out. Now you have the little beard on your Scottish Terrier. On your Scotty dog. Now let me see if it will stand up. This paper is a little bit thicker, but not much thicker. Let me get all my creases nice and strong, and then we'll see. Even if it doesn't stand up though, it's still super cute. Okay, let me see. Nope, it still just wants to lay down. But it is still super cute the way it looks when it's laying flat, just like this. All right. Have fun making these. And if you end up making any that do stand up, if you have thick enough paper, please share those with me. I would love to see it. All right, have fun.